guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episodes 12 and 13 of 86. Remember when I said I was gonna watch this on Sunday? It's now Tuesday going on Wednesday. I, I literally was too busy on Wednesday. Uh, Deja, what the fuck? <laughs> too busy on Sunday um, to record this, and then I would have done it yesterday, but I came home and I had to completely get ready to do bookworm and I was gonna watch Call Me a Pretty Care but I was like no and then my boss was like hey you know what I'm gonna give you the day off but you gotta come back Wednesday I said okay so we're now doing it like almost a couple of hours before I'm about to go to sleep because I was like let me go ahead and do this now because I'm gonna be busy this weekend and the next few days and I'm probably not gonna have time but other than that let's see what happened in episode 12 I am scared but other than that let's go ahead and get started and three two one go Huh. Y'all know how stressed I am with the Sam show. I mean, I've said it so many, but like, Y'all really want me to get attached to another group of characters only for them all to die again, huh? What the hell is our... Wait, 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 wait. So we skip all of November and immediately go to December? Jesus Christ. Well, damn, these fuckers still doing the exact same thing. Mm. Okay, hold on. Is, is there now a reason why she has a red streak in her hair? Not only with the bloody queen type thing, but something else in general. I still can't believe y'all fucking talking after a girl. I mean, mm -hmm.
Really? It's so weird. They still out there. You won't find them. I hope. See, why do I feel like, mm, you know what, no, I'm going to wait, I'm going to wait, mm-hmm. Okay, this is the, uh, okay, okay, so that's what we doing. Oh,
Where the fuck are you? You're not dead. Shit, are we in now? Wait, wait, wait. Do you not remember your name? What? Yes, because we can't see you. But what about everyone else? I'm crying. Oh my god. I didn't expect that. Jesus Christ. Oh. Yeah, sir, I feel like that's bullshit. <laughs> No. No. He's right. <laughs> right? I know that I was going to be stuck here for the rest of the DM series. Like, they're going to get out, right? Right? in a month.
here I thought the base was underground. Well, I mean, in a way, it seems like it. It just looks like a regular Air Force base. You know, he kind of reminds me of that one dude from SAO. Not Akiyako Kaiba, but oh my god, what the, what the fuck is his name? Oh my god. Mm. Damn, it is a regular ass city. There's a girl. <gasps> oh, she's so cute. See, I feel like a lot of people are kind of probably wondering why the fuck I'm freaking out over this little girl and her voice. <laughs> we'll talk about it in a minute. Uh-huh. Let's not. Even that face, like, fuck no. baby <laughs> Ew. 
it's funny how they haven't eaten anything or drinking anything. Like, mm. Hmm. Well, can I see? Of course it is. You got five fucking teenagers now. But there might be times you might refer to them as replacements. Fuck was that sound? Wait, 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 wait. Hold up, hold up, hold up. But let's just stop everything. Put a pause on everything. Is Frederica the little girl? Who that character talked about in the previous episode, who was also mentioned in episode 7? What the... What? What the fuck is going on now? I don't even know what to say now. I, I got nothing. Like, are we not okay? Now, the biggest thing is I kind of want to. I want to know. And let me go ahead and ask this because this is still also talking about last week's episode. Are we going to go into a POV of Lena, then Shin, and then the guy who? You know, black, yeah, 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 him, him, right there. Are we going through all three of them now? Are we, we're doing three people now? Wait, wait, how can, as a story, how can, well, yeah, I, no, actually, there is a way. There is a way how you can do that. It's a little complicated. Okay, okay, all right, all right, let's go ahead and talk about the little, the, the first thing, because, you know, we're going to talk about her first, and then we're going to go anywhere, everywhere else. Frederica. Okay, so the big reason why I freaked out, her say you, because, of course, she, her say you is kind of like the, I got to think of other things. Okay, so, no, this couldn't have been the episode that was airing when Darling was airing. It has to be something else. But it could have been. I could be wrong about that. So the one character that Marine was cosplaying in episode 10, 11-ish, she voices that character. And then she voices like a ton of characters. She's all, she's always that one Seiyu that ends up voicing kid characters. And that in the end, like, she's so fucking cute and I end up loving her. And I think the biggest role probably a lot of people will probably know her for is and I don't think anybody really watches the show anymore because I sure as hell don't because um let's just say um a lot of censorship between this anime and the company you know that it's getting streamed on aka Netflix yeah yeah, yeah. she played a pig <laughs> that's all I'm gonna say about that if you know you know because we don't talk about that show anymore because um that show sucks! <laughs> and I feel bad! I feel bad for saying that because as someone who was so fucking excited about that show when I first got into it, and then to see where, like, the censorships just fucked that show up, and it fucked it up bad to, like... <laughs> I'm like, I thought 
the censorships in Akudama Drive were, were bad. Well, no, Akudama Drive censorships weren't really that bad. Like, I mean, yes, seeing a man's head get chopped off was the very interesting thing of episode one. And also seeing a, 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 <laughs> a, a head, this body head rolled across the screen for like one little second, even though you couldn't see. Yeah, yeah, that wasn't really that bad, you know, as someone who likes horror and such. But not getting to see it, yeah, kind of really sucks. But okay. Going on to now this. So you're telling me there, there's a city that n- none of the other Iba know. That Lena and everybody else don't fucking know about. And such. So now are these people and the one who is currently in command, our new, their new quote unquote father. Um, he's now planning on taking the Ibis down. Correct? Because it seems that way. I can't imagine. What? Okay. 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 And then, like, Federico, her shit. She's, because he he was like, oh, you got secrets that, you know, we don't want to talk about either. Yeah, she the, she the princess. She the princess. What, what happened? What happened? I need to know. Like, see, y'all can't keep doing this. No, this show can't keep doing this. You cannot, we're not even on the second freaking episode. You cannot expect me to, like, not want to know, because I really need to know what, what the fuck is going on. And it, it's even weirder for Lena to, and I'm not saying that she's like moving on without memor- uh, emotions and stuff. It's now with this new group, she's very, very cold. And, and I'm not mad about that. I get that. I think she's learned from the previous group of Shin's group that she can't be emotionally invested into these characters and these people because yes, they're all going to fucking die and such. And so now it's kind of with Cyclops group. She's more, once again, she's colder. She's a little more stricter because she's trying to maybe prevent this group from dying, even though I feel like this group is also going to die. And I feel like Cyclops and whoever the other four are really, really close to Cyclops, they're going to be the one for, like, the four that's going to end up surviving and they're going to do the same thing Shin and them are going to, you know, currently be in, so they're going to also be there as well, possibly. I'm not sure. We're halfway done with this show. And I'm over here like, what the absolute fuck is going on? But, I mean, it was a really good episode. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I just, I, I got, I got more questions than answers now. I mean, you know, oh, but th- he's okay. That was the one thing I was worried about going in and finishing episode 11 and seeing how that ended. And I'm like, oh my God, did they really just kill Shin? Are we really about to move on with four characters? And then seeing that moment of him and his brother, just like in a way, in, in the dream sequence, even though it felt like to me, like the afterlife and such, I was like, oh my, I'm thinking to myself, like, oh my god, they actually killed him. These are the last little moments. And then, boom, no, he's not dead, so thank god. But I really hope with the situation or the connection with um, the character whose name that I can't remember from episode 7, also from episode 11, and Federica, we do kind of get an answer on that soon. Uh, sooner rather than later, at least before this fucking show ends and before I start whatever the hell I'm watching next after, because Right now, I really don't remember what the heck I'm watching after this show. I think I'm watching a movie series next. I gotta ask the Patreon. Yeah. (laughs) But go ahead and pause the video, and I'll see you guys in one second for episode 13. All right, episode 13 and 3, 2, hold on, damn it, this stupid mouse. And 3, 2, 1, go.
poor baby. It's okay, it's just shy. Frederico, what the fuck are you? <laughs> so basically, in this series, you're just a little savage. I'm like, God. TV, of course. It's worse because now, because all I hear is fucking Elf from Symphogear, and this just makes me want to rewatch Symphogear again. And any other series that she's a part of. It just, I can't. This is the thing about saves. Just imagine if they hadn't all died and everybody could have been there together being happy, but no. Oh. We're, we're literally doing this. Oh my god. I don't want to see this. No, that's not fair though.
I'm sorry, like, so once again, I don't trust Ernest. Something, something about him. Something about him. Like, he's going to be that big bad. And be like, ha, ah, what, what the fuck did I tell you? <laughs> Excuse me. In a way, you probably are. Easy.
come on. Yeah, and plus, in their heart, they just don't belong here. True, but... We're not taking Frederica, no. God, no. Right? Honey, you, you. Yeah, how old are you anyway? God damn it. Didn't I just say we didn't want to take the child? The guy in episode 11.
That's his name. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Whoa, I'm glad I watched this tonight. I am glad I watched this tonight because I cannot imagine if I had to watch this tomorrow after Shield Hero because I probably would have been like, what the fuck we just watched today? But oh, I, uh, okay. This little girl just said, you know what? I'm going to tell y'all everything. I'm going to tell you who, who I really am. This is that and the third. So, okay. So, Kidia was the guy that we saw that was going against Shin. Are we going to eventually see how he died? Saving the princess? <sighs> okay. Okay. And, and I get it. You got to take her for reasons. I get it. You know, for her to and her story and, you know, her her trauma and everything. But at the same time, this is a child. Unless this child is like her age. Like she's lying about her age too. Because physically she looks like she's what, thir nah. Eleven. The child is 11, and the she, we could be lying. The child could be 15 or 16, or she could be 20. She could be something. <laughs> oh. I need to let that little funny out. Okay. All right. I feel like still, <laughs> Federica, <laughs> we can call her every other character name in the book of everything, every other character her say who has played Nina L. fucking Hawk. <laughs> what's her face from, um, darling, what's her face from, <laughs> which comes in like a lion, anything that she's been in that's made me cry. This this character is the most savage character that she's actually really playing. Like, oh my god. This girl is fucking smart and with the little fucking comebacks. Like, you know, <laughs> it's so cute. But she's smart, though. I was expecting this whole... I wasn't expecting this whole episode just to be in the POV of our five characters and such. Well, technically, really, it wasn't. I was expecting us to go back to Lena. So now it makes you wonder. Oh, next week for the next fucking episode, aka okay, 14 or 15. Is it just going to be Lena? Like, oh, uh, okay. Like, uh, okay. There's so much things running in my head right now. I mean, like, I, I can't. So too true. Like, it, like, truly ending this war and for all of these characters to be happy. It's the one thing that these five want. It's probably even the one thing that Federico wants. But still, at the same time, you're looking at some of these characters, even in the opening, and it's like, is that what they all want as well? Does everybody truly want peace? And, you know, to move on from this so that no one has to die, no one has to fight anymore? <sighs> I, I literally don't even know what else to say. I mean, it was good. Like, oh my god. <laughs> they they literally said, "Oh hey, part two, we're stepping up," because <laughs> like I I cannot imagine. Woo God, because it, and it was so funny. Because let's go back to the time when this was airing on television and stuff for you guys. Because like I said, I think I said this in the first half. I didn't want to finally watch this show, catch up with the show, and be delayed. That's why I was like, I was very against 
watching this show until the show was fully completed. And at the time when people were asking me, this show was on hiatus. And that's why I was like, there's no way in hell I'm watching this show because I, I don't think, I was like, if we get, if this show, I was, I was, I, uh, I can't speak. I was going to tell someone, I was like, if this show was as good as you're saying it is, there is no way in hell that I would have been waiting a couple of more months or ever, however long they had y'all wait for the second half of this series and such. This is like, okay, I can't even believe we're going to talk about this. This is like how I currently feel with the situation of S.H.I.E.L.D. Hero Season 2, where it's like, once again, because of COVID, where, or even how I felt with Akudama Drive, where I was like, oh my God, I'm so fucking excited for this to come out. And then COVID was like, yeet, nah, boo-boo, you're not going to see this until later on. And then when you finally get it, S.H.I.E.L.D. Hero, and you're excited for it, and then you get to a certain episode, last week's episode, of course, not this week's episode, so, you know, we're not talking about, you know, tomorrow's episode, aka on the 25th, we're talking about last Wednesday's episode, and you're sitting here looking like, what the absolute fuck is going on, and and you're like, this is what everybody wanted me to be excited about? I, I don't know, I, I mean, because, like, I, I really, if I, if I dead ass was watching this, when this was airing, oh, I would have been hella pissed if I had to wait oodles and oodles on oodles. Like, that would have been a hard dedication being like, okay, it's time to read. Like, <laughs> it would have been, <laughs> like, straight up, be like, nope, nope, because <laughs> I can't wait. I mean, you know, this is the same girl who was over here like, yeah, I might wait a little bit longer for you know, like, catching up on my hero, and I haven't read the recent chapter, because, like, I've been so busy, but, like, the last chapter I've read. (laughs) 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 Emotions! Emotions! Like, straight up, and I feel like with this show, we're going to get a lot emotional. Like, even with, like, Kitty, like, I feel like the situation on him and Federico, we're going to see everything that we kind of heard about in episode 11 during that fight. And then it's going to hurt me a little bit more. So, you know, <laughs> I kind of want to say, go ahead and tell me what episode that is so I could be really ready for that. But at the same time, like, I'm over here like, no, don't tell me because I wouldn't be surprised on my own. But, Yeah. <laughs> I, I really don't want this child to go with him, but I get it. I understand. She's got to go. <sighs> Do not let her die. Okay? I, I don't need... I don't need this child dying. Okay? The last time that her say you played a character that I in the series that I had watched, and she died, and she died in the first episode. <laughs> Let's just say, and this, and I was watching the show with my boyfriend. It was a hard night. <laughs> it was a really hard night to get through the series because I was like, they just killed this little girl who I like so much. It got attached to her. So yeah, don't kill Frederica, please don't. Mm-mm. But other than that, guys, that is where I actually be towards episodes twelve. And 13 of 86. Yeah, this video is actually a long one. I feel like this is now like an hour and 10, 11 minutes. I don't know. If you guys, <laughs> if you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Enjoy the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for Patreons. And next Monday for everybody else for episodes. I'm about to say the wrong thing. 14. <laughs> and 15 until then i will see you guys all next time bye